Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Coffee with the Mom. Lisa's is here today, and today I got a clearance haul for you guys. So I've been on YouTube, you know, looking at other people's um, YouTube channels, and people have been raving about Walmart. So I'm like, what? So I had to go to Walmart anyway for back to school shopping, and while I was there, I saw all this clearance for toys. And I did go to Hobby Lobby, and I went to Disney store, so I want to share that with you guys because there are big clearances out there and at Target, but I didn't really buy anything at Target. So keep your eyes open, especially, you know, when it's back to school season coming. So they always have like a big clearance going on. And yes, guys, Christmas is right on the corner. So think of that, you know, save yourself a little bit of money. So, so Walmart this was my favorite find was this domino jr friends with these little dinosaurs landon's gonna love this he likes putting things like this and then you know knocking everything down i got this for four dollars four dollars originally priced 19.99 so this was a great great find another thing i picked up with was how to train a dragon and Aiden loves How to Train Dragon. If you can see these, these little dragons in there, there are 25 of those. And yeah, $2, definitely. And it comes with a organizer, which I love. Got that. Um, another thing I got were these called stick bots. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. I think they're called that, stick box. So they're like these little suction cup things. Dollar. I got these for a dollar. Stocking stuffer alert. Here goes rhino. The, oh, so these are two rhinos. I didn't even notice that. Green and um, gray. And then I got the green lion and then the red lion. And the reason why I got two of each is because I have two boys. And you know they're going to fight over... One green, one red. I just know it. I bet they're both going to want the green, but they only had these two. Um, another thing I picked out were these, they're called Ugly Dolls. There's like a movie going on, I guess. Um, Landon was with me and he really liked them, so I picked them up. I got these for a dollar. So I got this one. They actually had like six different ones. This one... This one and this one. Super cute, right? And then I picked up these train cards for Aiden. He loves trade. He's beginning to really like collect trading cards and stuff like that. So I picked up that. And then the fabric. Make sure you just like scan through the fabric a little bit if you're a crafter like me. Because I got this for a dollar. You can't go wrong for a dollar for a... It's a... It's called Fat Quarter. It's 18 inch by 21 inch. So I got this for a dollar. They had Minnie Mouse. They had, oh God, they had, um, oh, they had like the superheroes, like Batman, Superman, like stuff like that. So you can't beat that for a dollar. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and, um, yes, Hobby Lobby has great clearance, great, great clearance. The only thing is you have to go up every single aisle. I understand there's like a there's like a clearance section, which is fine. But if you guys go up every single aisle and you see a red orangey sticker, yes. Every aisle I see one of those stickers. So especially the stickers. Stickers can be so, so expensive. So I got this one. This is a camera. So I thought that was really cute. 99 cents. This one says taking off. Oops. Sorry. So that was 99 cents. Star Wars. Yes. Look at that. 99 cents. Aiden's going to love these. And then I came across these. So these are five by seven albums like all the albums were like more on sale but i got these for 
a project of mine for Disney World for my kids. I got these for $1.24. Yes, guys, $1.24. Now, I'm going to open one of these. Because you can use these for anything. You can even use these for just coloring if you wanted to. It's nothing crazy. But they're just sheets like this. And it comes in a little book and you tie it. So that was really, really cute. Oh, this one fell. Okay. Yeah, so it's like a little book, you know. And if you guys um going on a trip or whatever like I am, use these for autograph books. Do the front of it and they could do them as autograph books. I'm going to use these actually for like little passports for them. So you can use these for anything. And then I got this one for $1.50. I love her. Look at her. I did open it. Or actually, it was $1.24. I'm sorry. It's the same thing. Wouldn't this be so cute for a gift for somebody? And you could put like little like pictures or saying, or like if the, or if like um someone's going off to college, you can just write a couple like little notes in here before they go off to college, maybe a picture or two. How cute would that be, right? So I just really like her her <laughs> and then Disney so if you guys are Disney fanatics like I am I go to the Disney store probably too many times because I am going to Disney World and um their clearance right now is crazy um I bet you can like go online as well too but the only thing I picked up were these socks they were a dollar fifty or a dollar forty nine. So you can't go wrong for a dollar forty nine for Disney socks. So I thought these would be really cute for them to wear like on the plane or whatever. And um even like sweatshirts, um they had okay, so they had what did they have? The Toy Story sweatshirts I want to get for my boys. They were not on sale. Okay. They were forty $44, which is insane. So I said, oh, they'll go on Clarence. They'll go on Clarence. And they had like little t shirts for kids that were like six bucks, $5.99, $6.99. So it's pretty cheap. But I'll tell you this even though I want those sweatshirts, I came home, I was on the, I was on their store website. They were on Clarence for $20. Now, what you can do is, if you ever just go to the Disney store again, you can price match it. You know, if you say like it's $20 here, you know, have it 20, you know, so you can, you know, purchase it for $20. So I thought that I'm going to go back and do that. Or you can purchase it online. The only thing is you have to pay for shipping, which I don't want to pay for shipping because shipping is a lot of money. So when I go back, I'm just going to price match it. So yeah, guys, that's it for my clearance haul. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like Clarence Hall stuff like that, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't subscribe, come and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye, guys. Take care.